Have you ever felt puzzled when you receive your W-2 or 1099 forms during tax season? If so, you're definitely not alone. Welcome back to Amateur Money, where we make money, economy, and personal finance easy to understand. Today, we're tackling the W-2 and 1099 forms, two pillars of the U.S. tax system. We'll explain each form and how to use them correctly in your tax filing. Stick with us to unravel the mystery of these essential tax documents. And if you're keen on mastering your financial knowledge, don't forget to explore our other videos and subscribe for more insightful content. Understanding the W-2 Have you ever looked at your W-2 form and wondered, what does all this mean? Let's break it down. The W-2 form is sent to you by your employer. But why is it so important? Well, it details your earnings for the year including your wages, tips, and other compensation. Now, let's start taxes. The W-2 doesn't just show what you earned. It also shows what was taken out of your paycheck for federal, state, and other taxes. This is crucial because it tells you and the IRS how much you've already contributed toward your annual tax bill. But what's on this form? You've got boxes for wages, box one, federal income tax withheld, box two, social security wages, box three, and so on. Each box has a specific role in painting the picture of your yearly earnings and tax withholdings. For example, let's say your box one shows $40,000. That's your total taxable income from this job. Then, look at box two. If it shows $5,000, that's how much federal tax you've already paid. So, why does this matter for your tax return? When you file your taxes, you need to know how much you made and how much tax you've already paid. This helps determine if you owe more taxes or if you can expect a sweet refund. Understanding your W-2 is the first step to mastering your tax filing. It might seem daunting, but once you know what each part means, it becomes a helpful tool in managing your finances. Navigating the 1099 Now, let's flip the script and talk about the 1099 form. You might wonder, is this form relevant to me? If you are an independent contractor, a freelancer, or doing any non-salaried work, the answer is likely yes, the 1099 form is your W-2 equivalent, but for non-salaried income, there are different flavors of the 1099, but let's zoom in on the 1099 miss. This one's important because it deals with miscellaneous income. Think of it as the catch-all for earnings that don't fit the traditional salary mold. This could be income from freelance work, rent from property you own, or prizes and awards. How does the 1099 MISC affect your taxes? Unlike the W-2, taxes are typically withheld from these earnings. So, it's crucial to set aside a portion of this income for your tax bill. Now, what if you have both W-2 and 1099 income? This is where things get a bit more complex. You'll need to report both on your tax return. The key is to understand how each type of income contributes to your total tax liability. It's like balancing two different financial worlds, your traditional job and your freelance or side gigs. Understanding your 1099 miss is vital for accurately reporting your income and avoiding any surprises come tax time. Remember, being proactive and informed about your 1099 income can save you a lot of headaches later. Common mistakes and how to avoid them. Stepping into the world of W-2s and 1099s can be like navigating a minefield if you're not careful. So, what are the common missteps and how can you sidestep them? Let's dive in. First up, a big one not reporting all your income. You might think, do I need to report that small freelance gig? Absolutely. Every dollar earned, whether from a W-2 or 1099 job, must be reported. The IRS receives copies of all your 1099s and W-2s, so omitting any income is a red flag. Another pitfall is misunderstanding deductions, especially for 1099 income. If you're a freelancer, you may have business-related expenses you can deduct, but beware. Not everything you think is a business expense qualifies. Always check the IRS guidelines or consult a tax professional to ensure you're on the right track. Now, what about those who have both W-2 and 1099 incomes? One of the most common errors here is not setting aside money for taxes from your 1099 earnings. Remember, taxes aren't typically withheld from these, so you need to plan ahead to avoid a tax bill surprise. Finally, watch out for the timing. Filing late or ignoring these forms can lead to penalties. Being organized and proactive is key. By being aware of these common mistakes and understanding how to avoid them, 
you are setting yourself up for a smoother tax experience. Remember, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to taxes. Tips for a successful tax filing As we approach the finish line, let's arm you with some practical tips to ensure your tax filing is not just successful, but as stress-free as possible. Tip 1. Start early. Don't wait until the last minute to gather your W-2s and 1099s. The earlier you start, the more time you have to double-check everything and avoid rushing. Tip 2. Organize and verify. Make sure all the information on your W-2s and 1099s is accurate. Does your social security number look correct? Are all the income details matching your records? Errors, no matter how small, can cause big issues. Tip 3. Understand your deductions. Especially for 1099 income, understanding what deductions you're eligible for can significantly affect your tax liability. Keep records of all potential deductions throughout the year, like business expenses or home office costs. Tip 4. Use reliable tax software or a professional. If you're juggling both W-2 and 1099 forms, consider using reputable tax software or consulting with a tax professional. They can help navigate complex situations and might even find deductions you missed. Tip 5. Plan for taxes all year round. If you have 1099 income, set aside a portion of that income for taxes regularly. It's better to save a little each month than to be caught off guard at tax time. And there you have it. With these tips in your arsenal, you're well on your way to a successful and accurate tax filing. Remember, Staying informed and prepared is your best strategy when it comes to handling taxes. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the W-2 and 1099 forms. We hope this information helps you feel more confident in handling your taxes. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Amateur Money for more useful personal finance tips. Got experiences or advice to share about these forms? We'd love to read your comments below. Until next time, and remember, being informed is your best investment.